Hello, so I just moved so you'll have to excuse the boxes and mess in the background. But today I'm gonna be testing out this LA Girl White Foundation. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a foundation mixer, but I've seen people using it as like an actual foundation. I don't know, I've seen like tons of people raving about it. So I wanna try it for myself to see if it's worth the hype. Let's have at her. I'm also gonna do like a wear test and see if it lasts all day because I'm going to work. So we'll see if it lasts my whole shift. I don't work very long, so it won't be that strenuous of a test, but a test nonetheless. I might also try it as a mixer with my usual like NYX foundation, but today I'm gonna use it on its own. Well, I'm gonna try. It's cost me $13. Um, I think it's usually cheaper, but I had to buy it on Amazon and I never buy anything on Amazon. I don't have Prime, so I had to pay for shipping and stuff, but it's worth it if it works. It's hard to find a good white foundation. Also, just a reminder, you don't have to paint your face white, obviously, to be goth. It's one of those things that you can do if you want to. And we love people of every skin color and background. Ooh. And we embrace you. And we love you. And by we, I mean me. The pump is so tall, look at it. It reminds me of the super old Manic Panic foundation in the like tiny little white glass bottle. But obviously this is in plastic. I'm gonna prime my face with my usual two primers and I also have a brand new sponge to make sure that we're using a clean slate with no bullshit. I've already like washed my face and moisturized and all that bajazz. Pinned my little piece of Elvis hair up. I've been using this Urban Decay Primer Potion for like, I couldn't even tell you, as long as I've been doing makeup, which is a long, long time. Back when they used to be in those really long tubes that were impossible to get all the product out of them, but they looked so cool. It doesn't say to shake it, but it does say it's medium to full coverage, so I guess we'll see. Try this bitch out. She's white. So far it's looking pretty good, so. I'm pretty similar to the, the next can't stop, won't stop. So even if it isn't great on its own, it might mix well with that. It doesn't seem to dry near as fast as the, the NYX one, so that you have a little bit more time to play with it, which I like. It's like one of my least favorite things about that foundation. But it looks pretty good, honestly. Like my skin isn't perfect right now. It's like kind of bumpy because I was picking at it. There will always be that, but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna set it and then do the rest of my makeup. This like white stargazer powder is my usual setting powder. Okay, it's looking cakey. And I stuttered when I said that. It's looking cakey. That doesn't really bother me. I'm interested to try it as like just a mixer, not like a straight foundation. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then we'll see how it looks on the rest of my face and then on my neck because it's always a test to see if makeup will last on your neck because nothing does, especially when you're me and wear necklaces. Lots of necklaces. That's what I mean when I say it looks cakey, that you can like see the foundation on my skin. My skin is like kind of dry though, cause it's winter and I'm in Canada. That just kind of comes with the territory, unfortunately. I don't know if the texture isn't amazing. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see like every little tiny bit of dry skin on my face. And it looks very textured as well. Like, it's just not really my ideal thing, but I do think it would make a good foundation mixer. I'll see if I can like salvage this look without taking it all off. Yeah, it's not the worst. But it definitely is not the quality that I'm used to. Maybe you can see it a little better over here, but it's just like, it's not horrible. It's just like, you can see 
a lot of dry looking texture on my skin and it's just like, uh, it's uh. It also could be my setting powder, but it did like kind of look like this before I set it. Yeah, I definitely am not gonna waste that bottle. I'll definitely use it somehow. You can use white foundation as like a highlight. Even if you have like a makeup kit, it's good to have like a white foundation in your makeup kit just in case. You never know when you might need to use it. I also don't know if you can see them, but there are these like little flakes on my skin as well. I think that's just from the foundation mi not mixing well with uh, with my setting powder. I just switched cameras, so the quality is going to be a little different. Um, so far, I have had like I don't know if you can see it, like a little bit of creasing around my mouth. Uh, it's been about an hour, maybe a little more than that. It doesn't look amazing, but it doesn't look terrible. Like, what can you do? I feel like it would be a better like going out at nighttime foundation than like going to work but what can you do because I'm going to work and I'm not taking it off now because I gotta leave so three hours later it's my biggest problem right now which is always my biggest problem but everything else looks pretty good so I just got back from work so the wear test went decent my eyeshadow isn't really creased which is one of my worries you can still see the texture of my skin um, pretty prominently especially on my nose which is like it usually happens anyway um, but it's a little bit worse than it usually is and like this is always the first place my foundation gets fucked up and it yeah it looks pretty fucked up it looks a little bit worse than when I wear the NYX foundation. If you're going to be wearing makeup for like five to eight hours, maybe more than that, I don't know if it would last very well. I don't know even know if you can see it. I've got like a crack in my nasolabial fold that like isn't usually there. It might have been from me scratching my face while I was at work. I will definitely try it again again and use it as a mixer instead of just like a straight up foundation that's what it's meant to be used for anyway it like didn't wear off my forehead where my hair is touching so like that's good i've had foundations that just like completely get scrubbed off of my hair so it wins some it loses some I just included some footage of me using the foundation as a mixer with my regular foundation as well. Um, I ended up changing my plans a little bit, but I'll talk about that after. For now, just enjoy me putting on my makeup. So I actually didn't finish filming the mixer segment because I did half of my face with the mixer and then I didn't like how it looked so I did the rest of my face just with my regular foundation because um, I was going out and I didn't want to chance it because like I was feeling kind of crusty up in this area so I just left it and then like fixed the bottom of my face. It blended together fine so it was whatever. The mixer didn't make a huge color difference but I might not have used enough but at the same time it kind of sucks that it made my skin look super dry. I think I'm gonna keep the foundation and try it again when it's not as cold outside and when the weather isn't as dry and that way I'll be able to test it when my skin isn't like all crackly and awful. As it stands now this uh, LA Girl white foundation is not my favorite. I'd say it's like comparable to the Manic Panic uh, Dream Tone I think it's called foundation but honestly I like that one a little bit better because of the consistency. I'll try it again in the summertime or maybe in the early spring and we'll see. We'll see how it does. If you have any suggestions of light or white foundations that I should try out or review uh, either or let me know because I'd love to try them. I'm always looking for a new foundation. I've been using the same foundation for like years and years. I don't know. I think it's a good idea to maybe try something new because it's not perfect. It's not like the foundation I feel like. I think there's a better one out there so I'm gonna find it. I probably won't try the House Labs one though because I tried it on my hand and it's like super thin. I think it's like made to be an adjuster perhaps or just like a really really lightweight foundation I'm not sure but like it's not it's not what I need I need like 
spackle on my face. Afterward, my skin also was a little bit broken out, but I do have really sensitive skin, so like using new products can do that sometimes. Next time I use it, I'll have to keep my eye out for that because the MAC foundation, I get like this crazy reaction to, and I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> I'd say it's worth trying if you have like an oilery, oh, oilier skin texture, or if you have easy access to it. You might as well if it's gonna like not cost you too much. Try it out and see how it works for you. Bye. Thanks for watching.